as the swing that we're going to be using here in the bunker today is going to be our nine o'clock swing, which is the pitching swing length number three in our system. And that has us taking the club back to where the leading arm is shoulder height when horizontal to the ground or on a clock, this would be nine o'clock. What we're going to do in the sand is first prepare the sand nice and smooth, and then we're going to draw a line with your wedge in the sand. Uh, this is going to give us important feedback as to where the club is making contact with the sand. Our goal in hitting a good bunker shot when we're close to the green is to have the golf club come in, the wedge come in, and make contact with the sand first, and then it should go underneath the ball and come out over here. I've drawn a second line about a foot uh, apart from the first line. So basically, the divot in the sand is going to start here and come out here. It's going to be very important then with this swing that we take the back to here and we make a full through swing. The first thing that we're going to want to do that's different from pitching is we're going to turn the club face about 30 uh, to 40 degrees open. When you're set up, the line here is in the middle of the stand. You can see it goes right through the middle. And I take the club, and when it's proper amount open, if you do a line to the toe of your leading foot, then you can see how much open the club should be. Then, in order to practice, what we will do is make some swings here, seeing that my club enters the sand on the line here and comes out here. The longer that it's in the sand, the better it's going to work out for you. So generally the club is coming in shallow so that it makes a shallower mark here than steep. Many people are under the impression that a bunker shot should be steep. Uh, that's not going to work out very well for you. It's much better uh, to come in shallow and to do that we're going to stand a little bit wider than we did in pitching which is going to put us down a little bit lower to the stand. We're going to grip the full length of the club. We're not going to grip shorter unless it's a strange side hill line. So, and then from there, we're going to make some swings first to see that we can get the right spot. What you can see there is I hit a little bit too early. Not a lot. It probably would have still worked out. Again, here to here. And that was perfect. And you see the mark here and here. So after you become good at getting the club to come in at the line and come out over here, you have nice, smooth depth also so that the club is about a half an inch at the deepest uh, through. And it's a nice long divot from sand. Uh, then we'll do it uh, again with the golf balls. Make sure the club face is open. We have our line here that's close to the middle of your stand. Stand a little bit wider, which puts you a little bit lower to the sand, which will help come in so that we're coming in shallow. And that's what we're after, a shallow approach into the sand. And then we're going to make sure that we make our 9 o'clock swing from here to here with sand. Looks like this. So and that's how it should be done. Then we check. How was it? Very important for you to check your feedback. Again, update open with sand.